analysis on this treadmill frame here, and it was a perfect example of how to use perpendicularity on a feature, or on a series of features. What I had was two posts in this area right here uh, that are represented by circles here in my SAT file, but what I've done is put a line between both of those. And what I want to do is I want to check its perpendicularity back to the B datum. And I'll go to the drawing here, and I'll show you that B datum as well. Here's the plan view, or the top view, of this treadmill frame. And you'll notice that I have got a B datum that's constructed right here through this hole, and it traverses all the way to the other side. There's a hole on the, on the vertical flange here that a roller sits through, and that is known as the B datum. But what I want to test, though, is this perpendicularity here of 25 thousandths back to B. And what that is, is there are two bolts that are right here, two weld studs that attach a motor to this, to this treadmill frame. So I want to check their perpendicularity to this B datum. So what I want to do is show you that in the SAT file here. I'll fire that back up, and I'll put this in a, in a plan view as well, just like that drawing we were looking at. Now what I've got here is this, uh, this little area here is the, the line that was formed between those two bolts. And my B line, if I scroll in just a little bit here, is this constructed line right here that's formed between this hole here and this other hole. It's kind of hard to see in a plan view, but it's a, it's a hole on that vertical wall. But what I want to do is test the perpendicularity of this line to this line. Well, I've got them all measured and I've got everything constructed in my SAT file here. But what I need to do first, though, is go to Review Features. What I did want to also show is that when I measured these features and constructed these lines, I've given them names that make sense for the datums on the part. So I've got this datum B line. Let me view it here a second just to show you that that is this line constructed between those two holes. All right, I like that. I'll right mouse click back to review features. And then what I have to do though is I have to check this box right here that will allow me to associate a datum to that feature. So once I check that box or I enable that, I've got options here, here, and I can pick it as a B datum. Okay. Now what I say is okay to that. So I've associated this constructed feature, or this line, to be known as a B datum line. Well that's cool. Now what I need to do is run up here to the GDT callout menu and then perpendicularity. Once I click on that, I get this dialog box that comes up, and I'll move it out of the way just a little bit here, just so you can see both of these features here and here. Now, I know based on the drawing, I'll go back to that here a second and show you that plan view. The test that I want to do for perpendicularity is 25 thousandths back to B. So then I'll go back to SAT here, and I'll populate the tolerance here at 25 thousandths and I want to test it against datum B. Now here's my next dialog box or the next part of this dialog box. I have to populate the selection of the feature and I've named all of my all of my features accordingly but what I could do is if I forgot that name or I had so much content out there I can pick it from the screen with this box right here. So I'll click on that green arrow and click on the line. Okay, yeah, it's called the pattern line, and it was constructed. That's what the C underscore means. So I've got the pattern line that I'm testing against B. So I'll say OK to that. And then this dialog box comes up here, and what it is, it's the graphical illustration that shows this perpendicularity symbol, my tolerance of 25 thousandths, and here's the deviation from those measured weld studs. I've got about 30 thousandths, a little bit worse than, than what the tolerance is. And here it shows up as my amount of out of tolerance at about 4.9 thou, a little bit less than 5 thousandths. And it's the C, or the constructed pattern line, and it's testing it up against the B datum line. Okay, then what I do is I always change the name on this. I'll call that perpendicularity motor mount to B. 
and then I'll say OK to that. And I'll go back to review features and just show you how that appears here. And this will appear on your graphical text report as well. It'll look just like this. So I've got a perpendicularity of the motor mount to datum B. But it's a very easy thing to do. But always remember that the feature that you want to test it against, the datum B line in this case, has to be highlighted and turned into a datum in the SAT file by checking in this box right here. And then you pick the datum with a down arrow.